Hey everybody, welcome back to a month of popcorn. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. Today we're gonna to be talking about Frozen 2. I'm gonna get chuck at some point. So Frozen 2 is rated PG. It is a drama fantasy. It's an hour and 43 minutes long. Uh, release date is November 22nd. It is directed by Jennifer Lee and Chris Buck. And of course, we do get the original cast back. So this review is gonna start off my Oscar buzz talk. And honestly, Frozen 2 is going to make it into the best animated feature category. And quite honestly, at the end of the day, it's really only gonna come down to this and Toy Story 4. So basically, Disney versus Pixar. So just so I don't get into any spoilers, because yeah, I know that I'm good for it, and I really, really don't. Honestly, I really haven't given that many spoilers. I know I am good for it, but I, I've really contained myself. I'm so proud of myself for not giving that many spoilers. But I'm not going to because I feel like you need to really enjoy it. Let me just say straight up the bat the animation in this movie is absolutely beautiful, you guys. I have never seen something like this before. Like, all the detailing that they did to the hair, to the facial expressions, the freckles, the everything. By far, this has been the best that I've seen. There's one scene where I think she's actually wearing this outfit might be wrong but anyway she has like this um i guess like this shawl or whatever like it's like a part of her dress that just like flows right that little like little i don't know what the hell they're called the way that it actually just moves in the wind so realistic you guys when you guys go and check out the movie because you must check out the movie. i'm telling you right now i recommend it go check it out totally worth your buck at the theaters just kind of look out for all the smaller details that are going around because it is just Phenomenal. We're going to just kind of get past the visuals at the moment. It's kind of going to the overall story. Um, I did enjoy the overall story more in this film and then I did in part one. I felt like it kind of had more of a singular storyline going. The overall concept of the movie is basically finding out where um, Elsa's powers came from. We do get a little bit more insight of who their parents were. We have, let's, let's go ahead and move on to the songs. Now, for the parents out there and then just the general public you will be happy to know and this is going to be the only spoiler that I'm going to give you guys is that there is not a let it go song in this film and what I mean about that is that there's really not a single song here that really truly stood out to me I never left the theater really singing any of the songs there were the songs from part one to me were just way better than these they were more catchier they were more memorable i know that there is a one i think they were trying to go for that let it go moment in mind you i mean the kids they're gonna love it they're so parents sorry i guess i guess forget my warning from the beginning but Olaf does evolve compared to the first one which i'm actually here for that they didn't keep on Full on the same, like Mini Olaf is probably the most beloved character of them all. Um, let me know down below who your favorite Frozen character is. For the Kristoff fans, I don't know how many of you there actually are out there, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pre warn you right now. You're going to be a little bit disappointed because he doesn't really have as much screen time, and that might be the only thing that I really kind of dislike from the film is that they kind of just pushed him off to the side and just, you know, Elsa and Anna, especially Anna, never really truly seem to care or wonder too much about where his whereabouts were at. But Kristoff does get a song you guys so just in case you were like oh my god he better have something. Quite honestly his is probably the most memorable. Not necessarily the song because like I said previously or I don't know did I say it? They're, they're not memorable. The performance that he did with the song was the memorable portion. It had a very I really don't want to spoil it for you guys old school vibe for you. I'm just gonna leave it with that. that that's as much as the spoiler I'm, as I'm gonna give towards his performance because you just, you gotta see it. it it's, it's, it's good stuff. Like I said early on in my review, I full on recommend for you guys to go see Frozen 2 in theaters. Totally worth your buck. Kids are gonna enjoy it. Heck, you're gonna enjoy it. Don't even lie. Don't even lie. You know you like Frozen. Also, there is an in credit scene, so just make sure that you stay to the very, very end. And it does involve Olaf, so for the Olaf fans, you're going to enjoy it. So with that said, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to get a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye!